Hello guys, good afternoon, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today is January 24. Good morning to all of my friends in the Philippines. Here it's already 20, uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, good afternoon to all of my friends. And um, today we're going to make a meatloaf. And uh, we're going to use a ground beef, ground chuck. This is 4 pounds. And um, I'm going to use a oregano, ground garlic powder, one large onions, two towel seasoning, means complete seasoning, worcester size sauce, bread crumbs, parmesan cheese, and two eggs or also I'm gonna use a cheddar cheese and this is like a, a cup chop roughly chop and um, I use Velveeta cheese cheddar cheese um, okay I'm going to put the ground beef now in a container um, I'm sorry guys I have a small kitchen so that's why um, I'm just winging it alright I'm just gonna dump right here all of that dump the uh, cheese, cheddar cheese. Since this is one half cup, I'm gonna use, gonna add another one to make it one cup. <coughs> All right. One tablespoon of complete seasoning. This is my tablespoon measuring. Measuring tablespoon. I'll put one tablespoon on that. Uh, yeah, one tablespoon. And then I'm gonna use one tablespoon of oregano. And 
tablespoon of garlic powder because the uh, the complete seasoning have already garlic powder so instead of one table tablespoon i'll just use a half tablespoon and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce Actually, I'll add some more, two tablespoon. Right. Two tablespoon. And we'll put our secret ingredients, which is the breadcrumbs. So we'll put the breadcrumbs. Um, we're gonna put breadcrumbs in this. We'll use three cups, uh, two cups. We'll make it three cups. Three cups. This is one half cup, so one, two, one cup, three. we'll just use two cups that's a lot so I use two cups of breadcrumbs in it so now we're gonna chop our onions uh, sorry guys let's chop our onions I don't like chopping onions, but no choice because it makes me cry. fingers you know I have choppers but I don't wanna use it for right now I just want it quick quick Dump it in there. There's some missing ingredients in that. We're gonna put some fresh milk, one cup, one, and two. That's it. And then all we have to do is mix them up with your hands. I wash my hands, okay? I didn't really use um, gloves in it because I clean my hands so no worries about it don't worry so I'm just gonna mix this until everything is all combined together and then I will just uh, sit them up and the look pan all right okay so okay guys I didn't uh, I already assemble it in my baking pan the meatloaf so now we're gonna put the sauce on top uh, this is my version instead of a um, ketchup normally they use ketchup for uh, sauce to put on top of the meatloaf mine I will put a 
baby rays uh, sweet baby rays barbecue sauce but i think you know if you like ketchup then use ketchup mine uh, i like um, barbecue sauce so this is now this is it now so i didn't use a loaf loaf pan i just uh form it here in the baking dish and um I made them, I divided them into two. So, okay guys, we're just going to put the sauce in it. Oops. Oh, we don't want that there. So, so we're going to put the sauce. And I already preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And this is going to be, uh, I will bake this to one and a half, one to two, one hour and 30 minutes. I like my meatloaf with plenty of sauce. And it will soak in the sauce in there. And this is good to partner with um, green uh, sauteed green beans and mashed potato. But I'm not gonna make mashed potato. I'm just gonna actually this recipe is really good to make if you are planning to make a um especially if you have a busy schedule schedule during the week you can make this ahead of time like i'm doing right now we're not gonna eat this uh all of this meatloaf in one sitting um we're gonna eat the one only one and then i'll put this one in the freezer and then um we'll just heat it up when we're ever we are ready to eat it just gonna slather this slather it with barbecue sauce easy to make without any fuss or hassle the only thing that i slice is onions everything is already uh do the job for me they're all made so this is gonna be good and meatloaf is my fav uh, husband's favorite I'm just gonna make a uh, probably uh, Drake loves uh, macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese to go along with this meatloaf. So this is it. This is ready to put in the oven. And then we'll cook it for one hour and 30 minutes. All right, so okay, guys, I will just put this in the oven, and my oven is already preheated to 375 degrees. Okay, I'm just gonna put these two babies in the oven. A few moments later, okay, guys, this is it. I want to show it to you guys. Uh, my meatloaf is already cooked. There you go. After one hour and 30 minutes. So we'll see. And also, I made a macaroni and cheese, but I didn't really... Uh, made a video of how I made my macaroni and cheese but next time I will make a video
how to make a macaroni and cheese. So, this is it. It's cooked. I'm just gonna let that cool down. And let me try it a little bit. It's really hard to cut it when it's still hot. So, okay. So, alright guys, I will just uh, end my video here. Meat loop is cooked. It's easy to make. And, uh, hmm. Tinder. It's good. So, okay guys, don't forget to make a, to hit the like button or if you want to make a suggestions or whatever or comments, just please leave your comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell, notification bell. Have a nice day to you all. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.